Are you looking for a way to grab everyone's attention on the streets? Well, increase your street cred with up to 29% with this sick trick. You are literally the king of traffic. I mean, elevated high above everyone else. Also, you will be unable to break, but that's a detail. The first thing we will obviously need is a bike, in my case a fixie. And make sure there are no obstructions on the tubes here and here, because your feet need to go there. We'll tackle this trick in 5 easy steps. Step 1. The first step is gonna be releasing your bars while riding. I'm pretty sure everyone who has ever ridden a bike has tried this, but if you haven't, try it now. Pro tip, use your knees to balance and steer while riding, like I do right here. Also, with this one, speed is key. If you go too slow, it's getting harder to balance. Make sure you can do this step very comfortably before moving on to the next one, which is Step 2. Riding with your feet in the frame position. There's probably many ways to do this, but I do it as follows. Wedge your dominant foot in between your C-tube and your down tube of your bike. Place the heel of your second foot on top of your first foot and put your toes against the down tube. It's very important to clamp the top tube with your legs just above your ankles. This contact point, together with the contact points of your feet, will make you one rigid body with the bicycle. Let's now try this. Lift your feet up from the pedals and cruise around with your hands on the bar. Make sure there's enough space around you, and notice that when you go slow, it's hard to get it stabilized. Now attempt the fish and chips trick before moving on to... Step 3. In step 3 we are gonna combine step 1 and 2, with as goal to ride around with the feet in the frame and no hands on the handlebar. I honestly think that this is harder than the final standing up, because your center of mass is still kind of low, but you've already raised the point of rotation between you and the bike. Again, master this one, ride around a lot, and then it's time to move on to... Step 4. It's finally time to try the actual standing up. Make sure you do everything as described before, with the legs squeezing the top bar. Stand up and balance yourself using the contact points on your leg and feet. It's gonna look a tiny bit ridiculous, but just keep practicing this for a bit. Now you're ready for step 5. All I can tell you here is how to transition from holding the bars to standing up. It's important to let go of both hands simultaneously, otherwise you get imbalanced. There you go, you're standing up. Now use your arms to balance yourself out. Let's observe a slow motion replay. Start with positioning your feet in the frame. Make sure to squeeze those legs and let go of both hands simultaneously. Your main balance problem is gonna be your left to right balance. Forward backward stability is pretty stable because you have quite a wide base of stance. Getting back down is just reversing the order of things. Grab the handlebar with both hands and sit yourself down. Make sure you never go too slow because the slower you go with this trick, the harder it becomes to get your bike under control. Last note, keep it safe guys, don't get yourselves killed. Alright guys, that's all for today, I hope you liked what you saw. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments, check out my other videos and I'll see you in the next one.